Michael Mock says you can have the best quarterback in the league and still fall short. Look at Mahomes in the last Super Bowl. Invest in O line. Sewell at three. God, yeah. you are preaching to the choir. I love, Mahomes, I love the people I Mahomes have heard. A couple of things there. Mahomes didn't have Mahomes was missing two of his his left side and his right side. Don't listen and, to him, Michael. Don't listen and, to him, Michael. And if you watch that Super Bowl, I mean. Mahomes was the best player in that. In it was that so good. That like, throw he made when he was falling, it looked like a like a shortstop trying to get a, a bunt and then diving on the – it was amazing. Any, yeah, any sport, that throw would have been crazy. Yeah, he's 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 so amazing. The, 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 I don't know if the Chiefs would have won that game if they had their offensive line together, but it would have been a close game. It would have been tight. We're not saying they should trade Patrick Mahomes for an offensive lineman. We're not saying that. If you can get Patrick Mahomes, great. I just don't think that the Niners are getting Patrick Mahomes at three this year if I'm wrong. <laughs> then you can fire me as quality control. I, I You can just take it off my back. I swear. I just don't think it's going to happen. The the lo- the percentages say they prob- that they probably, probably won't. It's possible, they could. That that, it's possible that that guy is out there. Um, it's possible the guy's out there. I mean, no one really thought Mahomes was going to be Mahomes except for a few people. Um, but Matt, Michael Mock, great comment. Ryan Bronstein, also a good one. Grant, what are your thoughts on Pitts going three? Oh, I haven't talked about this recently. Yeah. Going with Jimmy G this year? I, look, it's the same concept. You need a great quarterback, but Jimmy's shown good stuff. Josh Rosen was a top 10 pick who just turned 24 and has a cannon. Maybe if you put him behind a real all-star team, either one of those guys could play like a top 10 quarterback or like look elite enough to win a Super Bowl. Jimmy came close. I don't know. I'm a huge Jimmy Garoppolo fan all of a sudden, only if he's playing with Kyle Pitts or Pene Sewell. Though. Right. The other thing is, is this really an all-star team? Like, let me, let me ask you a question. I mean, if you – Sewell makes it interesting. Pitts makes it interesting. Yeah, I mean, the draft is going to change. Is going to depending on how the outcome of the draft. It's going to change it. Yeah. Um, that's still just at the quarterback position. Because if you think about it like this, does how much better do, does this roster? And, and if they draft any of these quarterbacks, does, yes. does the roster really get that much better? I don't know. Um, True. I think the quarterback move is not a move for this year. <laughs> it's a move for the next couple of years. Which bugs me, which is bugs me because it's like, man, you just made a ton of win now moves. You're theoretically on the doorstep, not quite there. Sewler Pitts could put you over the top and you could ride with Jimmy Rosen and a second round pick or a late first at quarterback. That's intriguing. But no, you're going to go all in for a quarterback like maybe Trey Lance, who's not going to be ready to play until 2022. OK, yeah. good luck. Man. I at least at those extensions. I look at it a little differently. Like if you're going to get a quarterback ready, like, like let's make him really as comfortable as he can in that first year, you protect his blind side, um, give him, give him some weapons sure. that first year develop, dev, developmental football, a lot easier than the normal of first year where, you know, you're throwing him out there and he's throwing a nobody and getting his tail kicked in like, you know, Joe Burrow or. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. it's true. I mean, it seemed like a no-brainer pick for the Bengals until Joe Burrow got hurt, and it was like, oh, dang, maybe we didn't set him up for success. What a concept. If Sewell is the end game, do you see them trading down, getting picks back for number three, and maybe getting Sewell at five plus? What can they get back for number three? Now I don't see him moving down for number three. And here's the thing. I'm telling you, you don't know what the Falcons are planning at four. They're not necessarily in the market for a quarterback. They could take Sewell. They could take Pitts. And the fact that the Niners tra- traded ahead of the Falcons – Gets my tinfoil hat snugly on my head like maybe they were trying to pass him for Pitts or Sewell. Oh, it makes sense now. Thank you, Michael. I don't think – I think they – I think if you – they if they traded up for – if they traded up to three, I don't think they're trading – they're trading back. They're going to take – they're going to take someone in, in three. I mean, short of like, I don't know, like the guys they wanted – you know, up to, up to the draft, getting like mono or so. I don't know. Like, how good would Pitts have to be for the Niners to take him over a quarterback? If he was Calvin Johnson, could they could they uh, justify? It? I in my if opinion, he was straight up Calvin Johnson, could they justify? It? In my opinion, I think to me, in my opinion, like if if you don't have a quarter the if you don't have the quarterback in the NFL, Why are you disrespecting Josh Rosen like that? What did he do to you? He's a kid. I, th- I, in my, I think if John Rosen was 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 enough, he would have shown it by now. He would have he would have. He- Man, that's so harsh. It used to be when I, and back in my day when I was a kid, you used to give these quarterbacks a few years. Now it's like, hey, man, you better show something in the first fifteen minutes, or we are drafting someone else next year. That's just how it goes. 
You better show something. Josh, uh, you didn't show it. This game's easier now than than quarterback for quarterbacks. That's true. You gotta. I mean, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's easy. And it's the rookie wage scale yeah. thing too. They don't have time, man. They're trying to get you on the field while you're cheap now. And if it takes you eight years to be good, it's like, man, well, you'll be someone else's project. And I just, I can't. Sorry. We need someone who can play now. I think. Yeah. 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 Some too. So, Michael, uh, keep sending me five dollars, telling me the nine is going to take kids to school. I love it, man. It makes my. You can draft him. You can draft him in Madden. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, what I used to do in Madden, I haven't played Madden since 04, since uh, Vic was on the cover, whatever one, whatever one that was. But I used to always do a creative team and draft Kyle Bowler and take him to the Pro Bowl. He was so good. Cannon, <laughs> Cannon.